Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of Oblivion. And in this video, it's very simple. How to fight in Oblivion. Now, Oblivion, it seems pretty simple at first. You have blocking, striking, and magic, right? Or maybe a bow, if you're weird like that. Fighting in Oblivion is pretty simple, straightforward, but there's a way to do it that makes it so you actually live longer and you can fight more opponents at once. So first of all, we're going to talk about one-on-one -on -one combat. When you're one-on-one -on -one combat, it's best to carry a melee and ranged attack of some form and to be using magic at some point, okay? You have a magic bar and you should be using that in every fight, your magic bar, because if you don't, there's abilities like shield that you really could be using, but you're just wasting your time by not using it. So the first rule of fighting is always use magic, even if it's a low magic character, okay? Even if it's like a shield 5% spell or something, or even if it's healing, something like that. So when you get into melee combat, if you block someone successfully, most weapons will have a power attack. If you power attack immediately after, if someone staggers after they block, power attacking immediately after will land a power attack. So it's best to do that. Now, it's very simple. You block stuff, you melee them. If you're low on health, this is where your ranged combat comes in. Because your ranged combat allows you to run away and shoot someone or fireball someone from far away. Okay? That's very simple. If, if it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, also, if someone's chasing you, the AI kind of sucks. And if you're, like, running up a staircase, you can just fall off the staircase and head back down. And the AI will chase you back down. So if you can ring around the rosy something or fall down something or generally just mess up the AI, it'll allow you extra seconds to heal or get your bearings or anything like that. Now, when it comes to multiple opponents, this is where it gets kind of fishy and kind of weird. Now, my strategy for this. Always take out the highest damage enemy first. Okay, the enemy that's dealing the most damage, I don't care if it's the tankiest, whatever. Take it out. Unless you can, like, two-hit the other guys. Then it's, okay, fine. But if it's, you know, they're all kind of equally leveled, try to take out the highest damage enemy first. And what you want to do is you just want to run around and kind of try to line them up and make it so only one enemy can hit you at a time. If you make it so multiple enemies hit you at a time, every time you go to hit them, you're guaranteed to get hit. But if it's only one, you're not going to get hit. And this is where, you know, you can block one of them and swing at another one or run and just keep chucking arrows or fireballs at someone. Either way, how you fight in groups is you keep them away from you and you make it so you only have to fight one of them at a time. Okay, very simple, basic concept. Now, another thing is your equipment's going to break, so you want to carry backup weapons. And you want to kind of use metas. You know, if you're a sword guy, you're not going to carry like a backup mace or a backup axe, okay? You're going to carry a backup sword. And you can also carry swords for different play styles and different uses, okay? If you like to use claymores, still carry a long sword because if you sneak, claymores don't do extra damage. However, if you're a long sword player, maybe it's good to keep a claymore because there's certain tables and items in the game that a claymore you can swing and hit over. So you want to carry... Usually I carry two. Um, if I'm using, let's just say swords, I carry two swords. Different, different ones for different uses. And that's really the basics of fighting in Oblivion. And, you know, you can use power attacks. Eventually you'll learn timing and blocking. But generally, you want a least amount of hits, maximum amount of damage. Use blocking to stagger the enemy. Hit them. If you're getting low on health or magic or something, run away. Let it recharge. Use your potions. Shoot at them with arrows. Anything like that. But that's it. I mean, there's nothing more to say. If you have combat questions, ask them in the comments below. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode of the Streamer Vlog of whatever I decide to make.